Hey y'all, Irix guy here back again, gonna do uh, some more manual focus testing. So you can see towards the top right, there's AF, MF, it's on AF right now. I'm gonna tap that. Now the MF turned green and you can see faintly to the left of uh, the recording button, there's this bar. And if you drag your finger on it, you can manually change the focus. And there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of back and forth about how to do this. And actually, I just found the answer. And thanks to one of my viewers. See, until the most recent DJI Go app update, someone would click the infinity sign at the top. You know, after dragging your finger on it, if you clicked infinity, it should give you infinity focus. And that was typically, and it's only because I remember it, was about right here, this big bar directly below that second small dash below the infinity. And getting it right there is kind of a pain because you know, fingers move and you get sweaty outside. So you'll see like right there, I didn't get it right. Uh, right there I did, it's sitting on top of it. And that's what I want. Now, if you look at the, look at the little island out there, you can see it looks, it looks very well focused, at least in my, in my app view. But see, just to demonstrate here, if you drag that, you drag it all the way to the top, where a lot of people think infinity focus would be, it looks blurry. See, so look at the background, things look out of whack. And that's confusing because a lot of people think, well, there's the infinity sign, why wouldn't I go closest to infinity to be infinity focus? And that's definitely not the case. Now, what a viewer shared with me, what a viewer shared with me the other day on YouTube was actually it looks like DJI may have a mistake in this release of the app. Because see if you scroll all the way down, that's a little flower setting. You scroll all the way up, that's infinity. Both of those are blurry. So the sweet spot again is about right there. So let's put it in the blurry mode. But check this out. Look at what I just did. I tapped that flower at the bottom. Check it out. I'm going to do it again. Tap the flower and look where the flower takes you. It takes you directly below, see, when I was manually dragging, right below that second bar from the infinity. So to demonstrate again, let's put this all the way down here, and now let's tap the flower. So, at least at this point in time, with the current app version from DJI, the current DJI Go app version, the solution is to no longer click infinity, because if you click infinity, See, look what it does when you click infinity. The infinity icon it looks like an eight that fell on its side drunk. That's the best way to describe an infinity symbol. So see, when I click infinity now, it takes it all the way to the bottom. But if I click the flower, if I click the flower, and again, before you can click, you gotta drag to, to brighten it up. See how it turns bright? So if it's brightened up and then you click the flower, clicking the flower takes you directly below that second dash from the top, which in my opinion is the optimal focus setting for Mavic 2 Pro. So unless I change it, I'm gonna do one of two things. First thing I'm gonna do is go in here and I'm gonna scroll this thing all the way to the far end and I'm gonna click the flower. And if the flower takes me directly below that second dash, below the infinity, I'm gonna leave it there. Because otherwise, you know, I'm out here with my sweaty fingers trying to do this. And I may end up there. I may end up up here. But if I tap the flower, it puts it right where it should be. So unless it changes, this is how to achieve optimal focus with the, uh, with the Mavic 2 Pro. It's the best drone on the market today, without a doubt why DJI keeps changing up, you know, how you've got to focus this, uh, you know, it's, it's a mystery to me, but you know, what I can say is that, you know, this thing is, uh, this thing is awesome. And it's, I mean, you're, you're looking at this video right now. I mean, it is very well focused. It's a cloudy day. There's a lot of fog, see that fog? Ooh, I got a low battery. Better bring her in. 
So I don't know, tell me what you think. Does this look good? Uh, do I still need to work on this? Um, how do you focus? How do you focus your Mavic 2 Pro? Do you use autofocus? If you use autofocus, was it any good for you? Autofocus for me was horrible. It was some of the uh, some of the worst, blurriest looking footage I've ever captured with any drone. I will never use autofocus. So, I mean, this is just. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the proof's in the pudding, people. The proof is in the pudding. Does this look clear? I think it looks perfectly focused. I think it does. I think we've uh, solved this question. I've had many uh, restless nights thinking about how to optimally focus my Mavic 2 Pro that, that I absolutely love. I mean, favorite drone on the market today, but you know, with that said, if I can't get consistently solid results, it doesn't matter how good a drone is. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's got the best camera ever made, which it does, but I mean, the best camera ever made for a drone, but none of that matters if, if you can't count on it. Because when you're involved with videography or photography, you've got battery to get level is low. The aircraft will go to the you know, home point in ten seconds. You can't, Landing. You can't assume that there's going to be an opportunity to film or photograph something a second time, because that's just plain ignorant. You know that opportunity may not exist, so you got to get it right the first time, and it's still in the optimal setting. Again, right below that second dash from the top, that second dash below the infinity sign, the infinity sign that looks like a, an eight that fell over drunk. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, tell me what you think. I mean, the, the true test here is, is looking, at, uh, looking at this video and scrutinizing it, because I'm just looking at it right now through my iPhone 7 Plus. So, you know, this, this is not a true, re a true representation of what it's going to look like. When you're watching it right now on YouTube, that's the true test. So have I solved this mystery? Or do I need to continue to troubleshoot more? Tell me what you think. And if you're looking for the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic Air, the Mavic 2 Zoom, Higher Skies Adventure Channel merchandise, drone accessories, all kinds of stuff. You can find it all. Expand this video's description or just go to irixsky.com and you can find it all there because this, uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best drone on the market today. And I don't want people to, to feel otherwise. But, you know, with that being said, I'm not, I'm not a DJI fanboy. So if there's something I'm not satisfied with, you know, I'm going to tell you. And if there's something I'm not satisfied with, I'm going to troubleshoot and try to make it work to my liking. And I'm going to suggest over and over, especially if DJI is watching this, simplify this stuff, people. You know, make this default. Make, make your drone default to this setting because it looks the best. You know, there's no, there's, there's going to be no need. Most people that are using this drone are going to take off and want to get exceptionally well-focused video and photos. So make it simple. Take this requirement out, make it default to this. If people want to customize their manual focus and you know, get some depth of field and all that good stuff that professional photographers do, that's fine. But most of your people are gonna to want to simply fly the drone, you know, hit record and forget about it. So make it easy. And if you can't do that, just put a button in the app that says focus optimally or focus to infinity. Make it obvious and enable the app to retain that setting as the default preference. You know, don't, uh, don't require all this malarkey every time that, that we take off with this drone because it's just too much, it's too much effort. And I mean, I'll still do it. I mean, it's still my favorite drone on the market today, but I mean, it's still ridiculous. So tell me what you think, comment within this video's description and uh, 
let's continue to enjoy this hobby of flying drones. Thanks for your viewership and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRicksGuy. And uh, y'all have a good day. I'm going to go ahead and put this drone up. See y'all later. Hey y'all, iRicksGuy here. Thanks again for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. If you're looking for uh, Iron Skies Adventure Channel merch, like this t-shirt and a lot of other cool stuff, expand this video's description. You can find it all there. Y'all have a good day.